everyone, it's Katherine Pooler. I'm going to show you a great technique today called embedded embossing. But first, we're going to make the main image of our project here. I'm using the Sense of Time stamp set by Stampin' Up! And I'm going to use the big clock here. I'm inking it with crumb cake because I want it to be really subtle. I'm going to take my sponge and sponge some early espresso on there. Then I'm going to use the Punch Potpourri stamp set. I'm going to use the bird and I'll ink him in early espresso. I'm going to stamp him straight onto my first edition designer series paper. And then I'll punch it out with the bird punch. I want to have a wing of Riding Hood Red. I'm going to do a little sponging on the wing as well. I'm going to adhere the bird right to my scallop circle. And this is the scallop circle number two die. And I just um, did about a two and seven eighths inch circle from my Circle Scissors Plus. I'm going to do the branch for the bird to sit on in Riding Hood Red as well. Okay, so I have several layers here on my main image. And here is when where the embossed and the embedded embossing comes in. I have my Big Shot machine in my uh, my multi-purpose platform on tab one. I'm going to set down a cutting pad and then I have my square lattice embossing folder and I really like the this particular folder with this technique although you can use other ones as well. I'm just going to lay that down and put my cutting pad on top and roll this through. So when you take this out of the embossing folder, you will see that the Big Shot has mashed all the pieces down together so that now it looks like they're embedded into one another and it's one piece of cardstock. So it's a really fun and cool technique. I hope you'll give it a shot and try some other embossing folders as well. So if you like this video, you'll love the exclusive videos that I do for my Stamp Nation members. Check it out on my website, KatherinePooler.com. Have a wonderful day.